I am Dr. Quiet Attack. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Good to meet you. I was looking at your chart. I saw you're here because you're having some breathing difficulty. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about what's going on? Last night, I mean, Thanksgiving, I ate like a lot more than usual. And when I went to bed at night, I just could not catch my breath. I would wake up, like, I barely slept. I would wake up and not be able to catch a breath. And usually I can't lay down flat because I can't breathe. Well, give me a little bit of past history. What kind of medical problems have you had? Well, I have CHF, so I always have a little bit of that. Um, I have, I've had an MI, and um, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. Um, did I see you're diabetic too? Yes, Are you on anything yes, for yes. that? Okay. Well, yeah, I'm on Burnex, Metformin, and Dig, Digox. And okay. Um, what was that first one? Burnex, or is that what, what do you take that for? Is that a water pill? I think I saw it might be uh, Bumex. Does that sound like that? Oh, yeah, that sounds like that. Okay. All right. So um, this morning you woke up short of breath. Did it get a little bit better? What, have you been up for a while? No, it's honestly been getting worse and worse. So that's why I came in. Okay. And in the past, have you noticed that uh, you are short of breath when you walk? Or go upstairs yeah, I, or exert yourself? I can't go very far. Even just going to the bathroom, I get short of breath. Okay. And... Um, at night, how many pillows do you sleep on? Like two or three. Two or three. Because you used to be able to sleep flat, and now you get mm -hmm. your breathing I, worse if you don't. Yeah, sleep. I gradually just can't even lie flat at all anymore. I actually sleep in like my recliner chair because it's just easier. Okay. And um, were you having any cough with us today? Yeah, I've had a cough for the past couple of weeks. Did you bring anything up? Yeah, it's like white. So. Any fever? No, not that I know. You have chest pain or just kind of tight feeling with your breathing? Just with breathing. Have you had any heart attacks in the past? Yes. Tell me about that. Um, about two years ago, um, I think they called it an acute MI, and I was in the hospital for about a week or two. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been the same since then. I was diagnosed with CHF at the time. Mm -hmm. So. I usually have swelling in my legs, and that's actually been worse for the past couple of weeks, I've noticed. Yeah, do you keep track of your weight? Um, I think I've gained about 10 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, any other symptoms? Have you had any, um, you said, no fever with this? No. Um, anything like sore throat, change in vision, um, belly pain? A little problem? bit of a sore throat, but I think it's just because of my cough. No belly pain, vomiting, diarrhea? No urinary symptoms. Mm -hmm. And you said you have some swelling in the legs. Is yeah. one side more painful than the other or not really? Just no, heavier? it's just both of them. Okay. Nothing else like a rash or back pain or anything pressing or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do an exam and see what we've got here and then uh, I'll let you know what we're thinking and we'll do some tests. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Hope your mouth for me real big. Borderline JVD. Go ahead and sit forward. That's just for the benefit of my scribe over here so they can get all the notes in. Some deep breaths. And again. Again. One more. And just rouse one third of the way up the chest. Are you sore anywhere? Um, just a little, not really. Okay, so we're right through here. Or, yeah. Okay. So some mild spinous tenderness diffusely. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. okay, there's a tachycardia of 110 with an S3 gallop. Go back. Ahead and turn your head to the side here. Okay, she has HJR, which is hepatojugular reflux. Any discomfort? Nope. Okay, and we have four plus pitting edema bilaterally. Well, um, you already knew you had congestive heart failure in the past, and I don't know if the extra eating or salt or whatever for Thanksgiving made any difference or not, but. Um, everything you're describing sounds like a worsening of your CHF. So we're going to do some tests 
patient get some treatment going, okay? Now, you said you were on what I believe is Bumix. Would yes. you have an allergy yes. to Lasix, or do you, have you had that before? I've tried it before, and it just wasn't really helping, so they switched me over about six months later. Okay. Well, we may give it a try, IV, just to see how it works, okay. IV toward. Um, Lab-wise, go ahead and put in a CBC, basic metabolic. Uh, go ahead and put in an INR. Did I see you were on DIG also? Did I yes. Is that yes. right? So uh, a DIG level and um, uh, BNP, and we'll do a portable chest X-ray. Uh, put in for an EKG, and then um, blood pressure is kind of high. We're going to treat some of the breathing problem and the blood pressure okay. with nitroglycerin. So uh, let's start a nitro drip and try 60 OA6 IV. That's all to get us started here, and I will check back, see how you're feeling, and let you know what we find on some of the tests. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, got some of your labs back, and there are no real surprises. Your chest x-ray shows a lot of fluid in it, okay. and I think you kind of knew you were retaining fluid in the legs and so on. Are you feeling any better with the medication and with the Lasix? Just a little. Just I a feel little. like I'm breathing a little better. Okay. Well, you're still pretty short of breath, then your oxygenation isn't exactly where we would like it. So we're going to get you admitted initially to the ICU, okay. just so they can keep a close eye on you. I'm going to have to talk to my scribe here for a second and, and have them record your EKG findings and uh, get the admission going. Um, what do you need for the EKG? Rate. Uh, rate is 110. Rhythm. Rhythm is normal assignment. Axis. Axis is left axis. Ectopy. Contraction. A left bundle branch block. P waves. Normal. Q waves. Poor R wave progression. ST T wave changes. Non specific ST T wave changes diffusely. Comparison. There is an old EKG from 3 15 2013 which shows similar changes. Clinical impression. Old left bundle branch block, uh, non specific STT changes, tech 